The Hudson County Board of Freeholders approved $50 million in bonding related to the future development of a new county courthouse, as well as the acquisition of property for open space in North Bergen due to the construction of a preschool. The meeting started with Jersey City Councilman Richard Baggiano, who represents the courthouse area, asking the Board of Freeholders to delay the vote, as well as $160 million in bonding for the creation of a new school, until more county residents could add their input. Not for myself, not for the Hilltop neighborhood, but for the people in the county. I'm asking you to postpone some of these tremendous expenses you're about to vote on, like $130 million for a school, $20 million for the purchase of the property across the street, and if there's a new courthouse, it'll probably range between 300 to 400 million dollars by the time this whole project is finished. And that's not including the golf course, which has been dragging on for several years. I'm asking for you to postpone this. You have to have more neighborhood and county input into these decisions, and possibly a referendum on some of them, because it's getting out of hand. The taxes are getting out of hand. And I'll tell you something, gentlemen, the people, a lot of people in this county are getting fed up with uh, the way things are going. So all I'm asking you is to postpone the spending of this, uh, uh, creating uh, an ordinance for these bonds, and hold off, and let's have more community input, and come back to the people, and let's get together and talk about some of these expenses you're doing. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tony, you know what I'm talking about. Taxpayer advocate Von Bowser said developers like Joe Panapinto, who recently received a 30-year tax abatement in Journal Square, were not paying their fair share towards the courthouse. In the last council meeting, we passed an abatement for 30 years for Panapinto. Everyone knows this is, a, this is a former Panapinto building. 30 years. He's not going to use the county courthouse? Of course he will. And he will use county roads. And he'll probably have in his brochure that we're going to be using um, the golf course. He'll make sure that he has the people coming over from Manhattan. But he's not going to be paying any of these county services, with the exception of that initial 5%, which I actually helped champion that with the late mayor of some sea caucus. It's appalling. <coughs> I don't hear the people from Hoboken, Bayonne, proportionally pays more, proportionally, not dollar-wise, proportionally to the county. And you're not representing your town if you're solving on this issue. You're not doing a good justice for them at all. So the issue for me is, do we need a new county courthouse? Yes. But we're not getting enough people paying into it. Freeholder E. Junior Maldonado said the county needed to purchase the property now before it becomes too expensive because of new development, and that money would be made back when land from the existing courthouse is sold. We're trying to be preemptive um, in the purchasing of property at today's price rather than to wait five or ten years and I have to pay double or even triple of what the, the properties might be worth today. So I, I, I know it's a cost for the citizens. I know it's, it's something we don't want to bear, but as Yvonne said, anybody who's been in a courthouse knows that we need a courthouse. Uh, judge, the judge, I believe, is here. He'll be the first to tell you it's, it's a rat hole of people who work there, have all kinds of difficulties year-round, so we're being preemptive, and hopefully, hopefully the goal is, and I'm not going to say it's going to happen, but the goal is to build it, and then the, the property of which 595 sits on now, along with the Pavonia Avenue, will be an enticing piece to be able to possibly sell for development, and, and hopefully we can get back uh, at least a, a good portion of what we're investing in. Finally, Hudson County Assignment Judge Peter Bariso reiterated security concerns related to the existing courthouse. The escalation of violence in your streets also take place in the courthouse. Everything you read about in the newspaper in the criminal justice system ends up by us. If you've ever been in the courthouse, and most of you have, it's already been stated by the freeholders, we, yes, we walk, how we have done this, I have no idea, but we walk prisoners through the hallway on 2, 7, 8, and 9 in the same hallways where jurors, litigants, attorneys, and employees are. We have had jury intimidation issues where we've now had to have two retrials. It is almost difficult for sitting jurors, particularly when it reaches 4, 4.30 at night if they wish to deliberate, for me to put them in a safe environment. We have no parking. We give them permits if they can find street parking. I'm Michael Shuren with Hudson County View, the eye of the community.